poetic of lyricists, but uh, but I know what feels right. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. I'm gonna give you my heart. Oh, I don't care. Go on and tear me apart. I don't care if you do. Ghost Stories is probably a, an album about heartbreak, but it's not saying that something's broken, so you should just give up. It's saying something's broken, so let's work out how to fix it and make it better than it was before. I know that this song, in this point in the album, needs to be called A Sky Full of Stars because it needs to be about unconditional love. And I know that in a concert, if we're playing this whole album, there'll be a point where you're like, OK, I've got that out of my system. Now let's go dancing. I'll tell you the truth. I was listening to a lot of Katy Perry. A lot of her songs have the same chord sequence the whole time. Your body feels comfortable with them and then the, the melody's changing on top so there's like a, a groove you really get into and then also you're kept interested by So I was like, that's an amazing way of doing songs. And then I realised all these other people that have done that, Nirvana being a classic example, Smells Like Teen Spirit, it's the same chord sequence basically the whole time. So there's a simplicity to that that I was really... So I was like, I need to find a sequence that I just could play for ages and ages and ages. And then one just came out, I was like, that's it, that's it. A Sky Full of Stars came out about 11.30 at night, and it, took, it came out in about seven minutes. That song really ended up being inspired by EDM, which some people turn their nose up at, but then you go and see an EDM thing and people are so together and having the best time so I was like fuck it I, I love that stuff so I want us to have a song that comes from that world but in terms of I'd really like to jump up and down to this we don't really know what we're doing so let's call Vavici I showed him the song and said please could you help and he said with his backwards baseball hat yeah that'll be 12 million dollars <laughs> no, he didn't say that. He did a full Avicii version, and then we did a full Coldplay version, and then we spent weeks, like, weaving it all together. Like, we'll try this with this, or this with this. Essentially playing Tetris or something. Took fucking hours. <laughs> That's why it took so long. I don't care. I love that song, and so far when we've played The Sky Full of Stars, in the few concerts we've done, there's just such a collective um, feeling of, fuck it, let's just sing. that it's come out of this dark place. It's, it was the last song to be written, and you know I was asking for it for a long time. So we've got all these other songs going through this journey, and I, we need this like door opening to the sunrise. It's the most important song we've ever had lyrically. Because every time I sing it, I'm like, yep, yeah, that's how I want to live my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's stuff going on in the world right now which you can't imagine why is this happening. It's crazy. I don't know what the answer is, but if you didn't have faith in the universe that somehow something great will emerge at the end, then we'd all give up, and that would be a waste of everyone's time. That would be terrible. <laughs>